Hi everyone, my name is Anita Ladhani. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and an energy practitioner. And today I wanna to talk to you about a very, very important subject called bullying. Um, so bullying is basically someone intimidating or making fun of you, right? Now bullying when we were kids in, high, in, in elementary school or kindergarten or high school is very different than the bullying that our kids are experiencing. Um, and so I want to explain to you what the different types are. So, of course, you know, there's the physical bullying in person where you, it's the verbal abuse. It's the name calling. Um, you know, I, I I work in an emergency room, as many of you know, and my job is to do the psychiatric evaluations of the kids that come in because they're depressed, they're anxious, you know, they're having some are cutting, some are having suicidal ideations. I mean, they're pretty serious stuff, right? And I'll, many times we're able to you know, they're not an actual immediate danger. And so we feel like we can send them home and they'll be safe. And we, you know, we um, strongly recommend that, you know, parents follow up with uh, therapy and, you know, medication management if they need it. But sometimes we end up keeping the kids. And why am I telling you this? Because what I've realized, what I've noticed is that the one common denominator of, I can safely say 90 to 95% of the kids that I evaluate and the kids that I evaluate, I work in a children's ER, right? So the kids I evaluate are under the age of 18. But the most of the kids that I end up seeing are literally as young as six. I've had, I think, five-year-old. And then the average age is nine, 10, 11, 12. Uh, and sure, I get the 14, 15, 16-year-olds, but I'm talking about the seven, eight, year olds till the 12 year olds is what I'm seeing a lot of. And of course, when I get the older ones, you know, I, we always ask this question. One of the questions is, you know, have you ever been bullied or have you bullied? Right. And it, now it doesn't surprise me anymore because it's just amazing because 90 to 95% of all the kids that I see, the common denominator is bullying. Even if they have amazing family environments, the common denominator is bullying. And so I think it's important as parents to understand what our kids are going through because a lot of times when I speak to the child alone and then I go to speak to the parents, the parents a lot of times have no idea that they've been bullied or they have not realized the impact of you know that bullying uh, on their child. Uh, and then a lot of times they're just lost. They're not sure how to handle it. So that's the intention of this video. So. You've got the verbal bullying where it's name calling. So people say, you know, they call me ugly. They say, you know, I'm stupid. I'm dumb. You know, they call me fat. They call me a nerd. You know, um, I had one kid recently that it just broke my heart. And I was like, wow, uh, he got a haircut, you know, and, and he went to school and they call him cancer boy. I'm like, I've never heard that before. You know, cancer boy, like for a haircut. And this kid was like, it was hard, right? He, it was it hurt him now then you got the physical bullying right and that's where people actually push you or they shove you indoors or they'll you know stick your stick you know your they'll they'll physically like stick you in you know in the bathroom or do some really like the some of the stuff that i've heard i mean it's extreme but it's happening you know it's just the horrible things that you know kids are made to do in bathrooms you know one kid said that he was, I think he was like a sweet little 11 year old, you know, and um, at school he was bullied. Of course they did the name calling, but then they, one of them made him eat, made him eat the urinal cakes. Yeah, you know, just when I think I've heard it all, I hear something different. It's like, oh my God, like, um, so that's the physical bullying, right? But then there's a third component that this generation deals with that we never had to deal with, which is cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is, texting, mean things, uh, passing, you know, saying mean things about them on social media, you know, uh, blacklisting them on, you know, social media, like, you know, or Snapchat. Snapchat, if those of you who don't know, um, is not new, but it's, it's the, the, the trick with Snapchat and the positive thing where people like using it is because when you text something, it stays on forever. But when you snap something, 
as soon as you've seen it, it disappears. You can't go back and watch it again unless you take a screenshot of it or something. But, you know, it's that impermanence that people, the kids love. And so a lot of bullying happens on Snapchat is what, I've, what I'm getting. Of course, there's Instagram and whatnot. And it's hard sometimes to trace the evidence uh, of it. There's always a way, you know, the, the, I know the cops can usually find a way to get in there if it actually comes down to that. Now, what do you do as parents? Okay. Um, and there was something else I wanted to say before I forgot. No, I'm forgetting. And it's kind of frustrating. Hold on. The verbal, the physical, uh, the cyberbullying. Um, so the first thing is to have a conversation. I know, and, you know, if this is important, it'll come to me. Have a conversation, an open conversation, honest conversation with your child, right? Mm -hmm. Say, hey, listen, I understand bullying is very common, you know, and, you know, I just want, want you to understand that, you know, sometimes, you know, kids teasing each other, I mean, they do it. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Okay. So before I forget, let me, let me go back to what I was going to, what I was thinking about. So, you know, I, I was having this conversation and sometimes people say, well, everyone gets bullied. It's just kids being kids. Like, what's the issue? Yeah, you're right. A lot of us go through that, right? A lot of these kids, they tease, they pick on each other, and not everyone gets traumatized by them. But the difference is that these kids that are bullied and picked on and actually get traumatized by them, by them a lot of times there's usually other stuff going on with them that they're already sensitive, they're already traumatized, whether they've had a traumatic childhood experience, whether they've had abuse, whether they've had, you know, they're the product of a divorced family, whether they've, you know, it, even if everything looks perfect on the, you know, even if they say maybe they lost a grandparent, maybe something, it doesn't really matter because everyone processes trauma differently, right? So two kids might be in the same situation and one might go home and be like, ha ha, no big deal. I don't care what people say. And the other will be like really impacts their self-esteem. So don't judge. Okay. The idea is don't judge because we just want to make sure our kids are safe, right? At the end of the day, that's the intention of this to empower you to make you understand and appreciate what is going on because the kids are experiencing it. And if you have that attitude, I can guarantee you they're not going to come talk to you because they know you. They know what you're about and they're not going to come open up to you and you're going to miss out. And God forbid it becomes a bigger issue. So have a conversation with your child, going back to that point, right? Open up that discussion. Hey, I know bullying is very common. I know it happens a lot. You know, I also understand that, you know, there's verbal bullying, physical bullying. Basically regurgitate this talk in your own words. Why not, right? Explain to them what cyberbullying is because a lot of kids don't consider that bullying. And then find out, open that door. Say, hey, listen, if that ever happens to you, you know, you know, you can always come and talk to me about it, right? And they'll be like, yeah, but mom and dad, I don't want you to go like, you know, snitch on them at school because, you know, then snitching, I mean, you know, then they get in trouble, right? But explain to them how serious this is. You know, make sure they're comfortable um, in being able to come to you if they're experiencing bullying or if they're even witnessing it, right? Excuse me. So always encourage them to go talk to the teacher. Always encourage them to go talk to the adults, but make sure they're coming and telling you. And then as a parent, what do you do? You pick up the phone and you call and you speak to the principal and you speak to the guidance counselor. That's what you do. And don't just talk to them in person, request a meeting immediately because bullying is no joke. I wish I had statistics, um, I'm sure you could Google it, of kids who actually end up committing suicide because they've been bullied so bad. Young kids, guys, young kids. So bullying is no joke. So go talk to, you know, be the parent, you know, that is the pain in the butt because guess what? The squeaky wheel gets the oil. So the parent who's going to be there showing up at the school saying, listen, I'm really concerned uh, and I don't think this is not acceptable that this is happening is going to get, you know, someone who's going to respond. Um, and of course you want to, a lot of things can be done. I've heard parents tell me that kids, the bullied either get the bullies get suspended, get expelled. Uh, they, they get moved to a different class. Uh, the teachers are made aware so that this is not happening again because bullying is a huge, huge issue. So 
number one, start the conversation with your child. Create the environment, number two, so that they feel secure and safe coming to you and speaking to you about it. God forbid they're experiencing anything like this. And then number three, if it does happen, then go and have this conversation with school administration and don't take no for an answer. You know, something has to be done. This has to stop. Your child is not going there to get bullied. Your child, it's hard enough being a child. It's life is hard enough as is. Don't sit there and be a bystander to something that you know is negatively impacting your child. Um, and then if it's, if it's serious, then do something about it in addition to going and talking to the administration. So either get your child engaged in, um, you know, therapy, okay? Sign them up for therapy. Even if it's six to eight sessions, fine. Find someone they can talk to. In addition, make sure they're involved in extracurricular activities. Make sure they're engaged because when they're doing something, uh, in addition to the schoolwork, it builds their self-esteem. It distracts them. It helps them create friendships. It empowers them. So extracurricular activities are important, whether in school or out of school. Um, anyways, as always, I hope this has been helpful and uh, please feel free to share and love and light and take care. God bless. Bye-bye.